Hey, uh, good morning. Hey, 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 hey. Um, I want to show you my hair before I wrap it up. It is the beginning of a new vlog and it is Father's Day today. And it is currently 10 o'clock on the dot and my family will be arriving here at 1. I'm preparing lunch for my dad. So my sister's also going to come through. Uh, my two sisters are going to come through my gran. And yeah, family's going to come over. There'll probably be maybe about five or six people in the house. Not too bad. Um, uh, we opted to make his Father's Day celebrations here this year as opposed to always going home and having it at home. But before I do that, I wanted to show you. We all know that my hair is a tip. This is nothing new. It... <clears throat> It's nothing new, okay? My eyes are actually quite sore. It's a sign I need to wear my glasses. Um, we all know that my, 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 my hair is a tip. I haven't been to the barber in over three months. However, I just wanted to show you that it's pretty much growing. Can you see that? Um, it's got a bit of leave-in conditioner. It's growing on the sides. I don't even know whether I want to make it like um, a full-on fro and just leave it and make it a fro but it looks really really awkward right now because the hair is growing on the sides as you can see but uh it's actually really it's looking amazing i've had this leave-in conditioner in my hair for about um, give or take 45 minutes i'm gonna not leave-in conditioner this is just normal conditioner so i'm gonna take this one out and then apply in a little bit of leave-in conditioner with some products and then wrap it up um, in a in a little duck. So yeah, then we're gonna continue with the vlog and we're gonna do everything It's gonna be a really really long day. I need to start cooking probably gonna cook at around 11 30 not making anything too big too much um, it's just pretty much gonna be Meat some veggies and some sweet potato nothing crazy nothing serious um, and my sister's gonna come with some extra dishes, na lady, I mean. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you how my hair looks and show you what I use. It's currently in my shower right now and I'm too lazy to go get it out. But, um, for my shampoo, I use the, what's this, the Shea Moisture, um, what is it? Daily hydration shampoo. That's what I use. I've used it for a really long time now. And the conditioner that's in my hair right now is this one from Coconut Curls. And if I want to mask up my hair, I use that mask from Shea Moisture as well. So, yeah. yeah. And I've also been trying out some new skin products that I was sent by Nivea. I was sent a serum and... I mean, I can't complain. I feel like the skin is it's doing the things. Um, I was sent a serum, a Q10 serum, and here it is. I ain't even gonna lie. Here it is. Here it is. I was sent the serum. Can you see it? Yeah. This is the Q10 Youth Boost. Youth Oil Booster, which is really, really good. And I have been using that one in conjunction with the Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. Yeah, the anti-wrinkle day cream. And so far, not bad. Not bad. I really wanted to test them out. So, uh, yeah. Okay. All right, let me wash out my hair. I got a lot of things to do today. So, I'll check you when I'm downstairs setting up the table. Okay. All right. So, I'm downstairs. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. So, I'm downstairs now. Um, my kitchen is fairly clean. What I do need to do is this lounge space. My family is coming and my family and my grandmother is coming. So my family is very, very judgy. Hey, so and stuff. And then I'm going to get that table over there, that table. Um, I'm going to get that table ready and set it up with the dishes and all of that. I'll show you that whole process. I'm not sure if I will vlog when my family gets here. Maybe I'll vlog a little bit. Um, I personally, and I'm sure you've noticed this, I personally don't vlog my family moments. It's just not a thing. Um, but I'll vlog, my little sister will be here, so maybe I'll vlog her. Uh, and my other sister's gonna be here, now lady, your fave, your fave. And maybe I'll vlog with her. But for the most part, the grown people of my family, that includes my father, I do not vlog. I never vlog them. So it's just a privacy thing for me. So for now, I am going to tidy up this lounge. Mr. Min the hell out of it. Make it smell good. 
and then set up that table. And then after that, it should just about be the time that I start cooking and preparing. So yeah, let's do that. But this is pretty much the setup of um, lunch today. I didn't go all out as I normally do like on Christmas and all of that with the tablecloths and table mats and all of that. It is just a uh, Father's Day Sunday lunch. And so I decided to keep it very plain, very simple. And besides, we're going to use a lot of the open spaces for the casseroles with the food. So I just wanted to show you this is pretty much the setup at home we drink a lot of tea so having a little tea station <laughs> in the middle of the table is not unusual for us so yeah have that there i have just a glass for juice and um knife fork and spoon but pretty much that's it and of course my dad always sits at the head of the table um thinking of actually putting down a glass of wine for him there but i don't know that's if he comes with his own wine because we gin drinkers in this house. <laughs> I'm getting these flowers I got for my birthday literally over a week ago and they still look amazing. So definitely looks stunning. The table looks great, not too cluttered, which is my style. Very, very clean and minimal. I don't like, uh, I wanted to use my Carol Boyce dishes and then I thought, ah, but no. I normally use those plates and things like that, but I normally use those for Christmas. So yeah. This is pretty much what it looks like now. Really, really happy. Okay, so it's about that time. Okay, it's about that time we're going to cook. Uh, I'm going to be making a chicken stew. So I want to make it in this sort of pan slash pot. And then some sweet potato and then some mixed veggies. I'm also thinking of making a pot of rice because, yeah, black people and rice. chicken along with some uh, bell peppers some onion which we're gonna start with chop that up Ooh, these knives are so sharp they actually scare me do you see that so damn sharp
rice. I'm sure you must have seen these canisters, right? By now, I'm just going to add a little bit of brown rice up there. Of course, some water. There we go. Okay. And here, I'm going to add some mixed vegetables. So we're going to add these, uh, the vegetable medley. I'm gonna wash them out first. Wash them, put them in here so you can see. A nice, colorful pot of vegetables. We love it. We love it. In all honesty, my mother taught me to cook like this. She was like, if you chop everything up and you get everything ready before you even switch the pots on, then you know that once the stove is going, everything is in there and all you need to do is just monitor the pots. It makes your cooking much easier, much quicker. So, got some um, sweet potato here. So this is pretty much what I meant when I said have everything ready before you even switch the stove on because now everything is done. This is probably going to take me 45 minutes. Just watch the stove and then it is 12 o'clock right now. Everybody's going to start arriving at 1. So everything is done. Should be done by quarter to 1. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to season the chicken because we are... Um, going to make a little bit of a stew that's what's going to take a little bit longer because i am still going to add those vegetables and then we've got the rice here i'm going to add a some butter to the sweet potato and then these just season it up and then add a teeny bit of water and then we're good to go first things first i'm going to season up this chicken i don't think i've got rosemary but i might have rosemary Mm, garlic and herb, I might have the rosemary and garlic. I'm out of it. See? Rosemary and olive. Got that. So I'm going to add this, which is a rosemary and olive seasoning. I'm going to add that. Rosemary is really great on chicken. I just don't have the rosemary herb itself. And then to start, we're going to add the onion. Definitely just the onion. Uh, the peppers and the green beans and all of that are, are added right at the very end because you want to have them um, still crunchy. So to start, we just add the onion. We need to buy, need to buy some garlic, girl. some garlic in there. The star of the show, where is she? The mother-in-law spice. So I just wrote mom-in-law, as you can see. <laughs> This is the mother-in-law spice, and this is from Woolies. This is the star of any stew. It is so, 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 so good. So honestly, this is what I do initially. And close that up. Close that one up. Get it on. And it's ready to go. The potatoes are pretty much simple. What I add is, where is she? Where is she? Where's my baby? Where's my baby? Where's my cinnamon? Um, I add cinnamon. Add a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg if you want, but I typically just go with cinnamon. Dollop of butter. Butter, margarine, I really don't care. All works the same. Um, a lot of butter in there because that's going to help make it um, creamy very very creamy delicious buttery soft um, and then towards the end after we crush it I'm going to then add milk a little bit of milk. and then here we've got um, the mixed veggies which I said that I'm going to add a smidgen of water this is the water that I drink literally that's all that's all just so that it doesn't burn and of course season this is gonna go for literally maybe 10 minutes at the very most 10 minutes not too much salt 
And the star of the show is the Cajun spice. So we're having chicken. So Cajun spice goes really, really well with chicken. It's just that it's not going to be in the stew. Instead, it's going to be reflected or tasted in the mixed vegetables, which is really, really brilliant. Uh, we need it. Oops, we need a lot more of that. Or medium heat. Watch it. Watch it so that they don't get soggy, so that they just keep coming back every two minutes to stir. That's pretty much it. And then, na, 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 na. lastly, is the rice, which we already know is going to get going right now. And the pots are pretty much laid, set. Everything's going to get going, and we're good to go. Lunch should be ready at, what time is it? Let me see. Lunch should be ready at, we're at 10 past 12 now. So lunch should be ready just before one, which is brilliant. Um, because of that, I pretty much know that I won't be, I won't have time to do my makeup and all of that. It's fine. It's my dad's day. It's not my day. So I'm literally running out of time, but pretty much it's one o'clock right now. It's five to one. So... They haven't arrived, fortunately. I'm not going to be able to do my makeup and all of that. But everything is pretty much done. The rice is done. The mash is done. Um, what's this? The sweet potato, uh, coral orange mash is done. Uh, mixed veggies, done. And this is what's still going. It needs a little bit of... It's on high now, so I'm going to bring it down to simmer so that everything just meshes in together. But we're pretty much done. Hi. <laughs> On the other hand, I'm not going to have time to do my face and change and whatever, but it's fine. It's not my day. It's my dad's day. So it's cool. Just going to eat with the fam, chill, hang out with the fam, and then when they leave, tidy up and do all that stuff. So you might see some footage. Am I oily? Wow, what's going on? You might see some footage. You might not. I don't know. I don't know. But I will definitely check in later. Yeah, what? Um, Say hey, gang. Hey, gang. How you doing, gang? How you doing, gang? Come say hi. Hi. How are you doing? Oh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yo, camera. How much is this camera? How much is this camera? And tell me now. camera. <laughs> we came from the same room. Right, um, so the family just left. It is now quarter to six in the evening. So they were here for about five hours, which was nice. It was a good time. Um, yeah, most of, I pretty much mostly cleared up, cleaned up everything. All that's left is pretty much here um, on the table. My, my little sister was actually drawing and all of that. So because my coffee table is white, I didn't want to risk her drawing on the table. So I put a, a towel down. Um, and yeah, it's just tidying up just the smaller nyana things. But for the most part, um, dishes and all of that have already been done. I did the dishes. Yeah, so all the dishes and all of that have already been done. I did these uh, early on when everybody was just chilling. So, yeah, I did. That's pretty much it. I think I'm going to leave this vlog. I think it's long enough. I really, I'm going to leave this vlog and call it the Father's Day vlog. Um, and I'm going to upload yesterday's one now at 6. And 
uh yeah i'll probably upload this one later on this week that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was really really nice to make it uh, i was on a pressure crunch time crunch uh for you know during the day when i was busy cooking up oh no my dad forgot his birthday he's my dad forgot his um he forgot his one of his gifts oh well I'll have to take it tomorrow but for the most part yeah i enjoyed it it was a time crunch um to sort of clean up everything and uh cook and try to show you guys that as well but i've showed you as much as i can and i hope that means something and stands for something um yeah i'm gonna go now um i'll see you in the next one <laughs>